It's around us. It's everywhere. The mobile phone is at the dinner table, and we get scolded for it. Oprah tells us not to use our phone while driving, right? Is there anywhere that the mobile phone doesn't go? It's in the bathroom. Don't say it's not. <laughs> so Dennis mentioned it earlier, is that, and, and I think Mary hit it as well. In, in Q4, there were more smartphones sold than desktop computers worldwide. By the end of the year, more than half of Americans, including my two-year-old and my four-year-old, probably not them, but they'll be in the half that don't. By the end of the year, half Americans will be walking around with one of these highly connected broadband connections in their pocket. It's a dramatic change in how all of us think about our customers. But again, we know it intuitively, and the data supports it as well. Historically, when you have new technology transformations, you have a host of new winners that come to market, and a lot of incumbents that don't make it uh, through the transition. Our view is, is that the wealth creation and the wealth destruction from the mobile internet will be bigger than it has been in any of these cycles. In these four cycles of the past, each of these cycles created more wealth from a market cap perspective than the previous cycle, except for the mini computing cycle. So it's a pattern that, that will probably continue to be in place, and, and we're, we're making a big bet on it. The force and, and, and pace of this change is unprecedented. Uh, and when things like this happen, there are companies that jump on the wave early and succeed bigger than their expectations. There are companies that jump on the wave early uh, and fail beyond their expectations as well. Uh, but the people that don't jump on the wave to take advantage of the growth and be early uh, are not even in the, in the game. So if, if there's a call to action, uh, it's that the, the, the pace here is, is happening faster than anything we've seen before. And I don't use those words lightly. Um, and there's a lot of opportunity to gain a tremendous amount of momentum within your business if you play your, if you play your cards right. Here's a justification why. why. Why is mobile important to all of you? Well, I know everybody has a cell phone in their pocket. Soon they'll all be smartphones. So the reach is phenomenal. Uh, it allows better targeting and personalization. You can watch where people are, what they're doing, things of that nature. Uh, people tend to interact more with mobile ads. It's kind of easier to give them a call to action, uh, especially in a local environment, to do something in the moment, buy something, go someplace, get an offer, get a deal, and share that with your friends. We believe mobile technology is going to create the largest technology market ever. The mobile industry, the mobile technology will dwarf the PC uh, and what the PC industry has done. We already saw in Q4 mobile shipments, mobile devices outstripped PC shipments for the first time. If you think about what your mobile device can do, my phone, my Nexus S, uh, has about 10 times the storage capacity of what my PC had just seven years ago. Right? It's about five times as fast. Right? My PC weighed, I don't know, seven pounds, my laptop, and this thing weighs like 12 ounces, and it's always connected. So there's no doubt that the market itself will follow, the consumer will follow. And if you combine this massive uh, computing power, this massive technology market, with this massive audience, it has completely transformative impact for a huge number of industries. Right? You have roughly 1.9 billion people on the wired web, but there's 5 billion phones out there. And not very long from now, all of them are going to be connected to the web. Think about payments. Your phone is more secure than your credit card. Uh, it has more capabilities. You can provide offers through the phone. All of these things are going to transform industries in massive ways. We're going to see the same kind of changes to industry and to our businesses that you saw when the web became popular, but it's going to happen much faster because everybody is, is buying these phones. Everybody wants to be connected. For your business, you need to act now. Right? Typically, in most businesses, Mobile is 10% of whatever the internet team does. So a lot of companies have a digital team. They assign some guy to do, be the mobile guy. Right? Is anybody here the mobile guy for your company? Right? Are, you, are you the only one in your company? Right? Only one in the company. Right? That's kind of the typical approach. But if you're in retailing and you're thinking of it that way, then the risk is that this wave is going to crest over you and you're going to... Uh, have a uh, massive change in how consumers are interacting in your aisle. Uh, you're going to have competition that you never thought of when the consumer's in the store search it, looking for a product and then searching the web at the same time. Right? So it has to be more than 10% of a 10% project. 